How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and welcome back to Learning SRPG Studio. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to add plugins to your project, as well as go over the updates. They're still updating SRPG Studio, constantly adding updates, which is very nice. They said that they're no longer going to do any large, huge overhauls for the engine, but they do continue to work on it, as it's evident here. They've added the German version of the program last week, and just today, they've added a couple new features. You can now execute script under the event commands. They updated a couple of plugins. They added a conditional show ex.js and they added a script execute custom parameters JS. So these are plugin JavaScript files that you can add to your game. And let's talk about how to do that. If you want to add them, if you want to add custom plugins to your game, you just have to add them to the right folder and when you run the program, it automatically loads them into the engine. So to add them, let's go to library software and then under SRPG Studio, we'll right click it and go to view community hub. You can also click on Community Hub on the links over here. Same thing will happen. From here, you're going to click on the Workshop tab, and then you're going to be able to see a list of plugins, additional content that you can subscribe to. You can click on the button right here that says Subscribe. It'll do a quick download and edit. Let HP ratio affect units, attack, and defense. Here's a plugin that I don't have in the game. You can click Subscribe, Download. You'll see that it'll update right here. Sometimes you'll have to close your application in order for it to update, so we're going to close it and it'll start updating it. And since the thing I just recently subbed to didn't actually change the engine or files at all, I just added another external JS plugin. It did an update, but it didn't actually change anything. We'll go ahead and click on launch. We'll reload the game. We can open up our project. And we're gonna click on, once we have our project open and we've had all of our subscribed items installed through Steam, we're gonna click on the Steam tab on the menu here and click on show subscribed items. Once we have this open, it's gonna show us everything that we've subscribed to and we can actually download these right from here inside the engine which is very nice and convenient. Let's go with the official plugins and we'll right click that and we will save to file. We're going to select a folder that we want to save the plugins to and hit OK. We're going to go to the folder that we selected. Here's the folder that we selected to install the plugins and it's added all of the plugins here. Now from here we can copy them and paste them where they need to be. I don't recommend you just take all of the plugins and throw them in your project. It's really not the right way to add plugins because you can have lots of conflicting issues. General rule is to add plugins one at a time and ensure compatibility after each plugin has been added. Let's start off with one of these plugins and it's not immediately clear what these plugins do, but there's a website for that. So let's take a look at that. If we go to srpgstudio.com slash English, go to the developer folder, which says plugin right there. And then it's going to be in Japanese, but if you're using Chrome, there's an auto translate feature so you just translate that to English if you're using the English version and leave that up like that now we can see a quick description of what each of the plugins do with custom item.js we can create items that will damage the entire enemy we're gonna just add this plugin and I'll show you the process of how to add plugins we're just gonna pick one random one and add it to our project so this is srpgstudio.com slash developer and you'll need to translate it from Japanese to English to get the description to read you can also also copy it and paste it into Google Auto Translate if you need to. Well, let's take custom item. I'll press Control C and now I'm going to go into my project folder. In this project, it is the SRPG Studio Tutorials Episode 8, which we're not in Episode 8, but this is when I created the project. It's very simple. You go into the plugin folder and you just paste it there. That's all you got to do. You'll save your project, you'll close the program, and you'll reopen the program. You may not need to do all of those things, but if you, to ensure that everything works, add it to the folder save the project, close the program and open the program. Or if you have, if you don't have the program open, you can add it and then load the program. We'll do that. Now it should be using that plugin that we just added and that's it. You can test play your game to see if anything has been changed or if anything has been broken or there's any problems with it. And depending on what plugin you add, you may not notice anything. That's why you look up what plugin you're adding. We'll go to the database and we'll go to items and that plugin may have changed something in here so that the items can affect and hit the entire party if needed. I think this is it right here, scope, the change scope so that they can target all. That may be in the default. But anyway, this is just a tutorial on how to add plugins, not really necessarily showing you this particular plugin. Now you know how to add plugins into your project. It's really simple. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed these tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, 
channel if you're new here, or if you've been watching for a while, please sub to my channel. If you'd like to support what I do here on this channel, it'd be very appreciated if you head over to patreon.com slash driftwoodgaming. That's patreon.com slash driftwoodgaming, and consider backing me. All support goes a long way, and it's highly appreciated. If you want to come hang out and chat with us, come talk with us on Discord. We have a link in the description below. We'd love to see you come hang out. Come self-promo the things you've been working on and advertise your good and amazing deeds. No matter what engine you're using, RPG Maker, SRPG Studio, Game Maker Studio 2, whatever you're working on, Unity, Smile Game Builder, we have a community of devs there. Lots of talented artists that just show off their work. It's a cool place. It's really chill. Come hang out with us. We'd love to see you there. You can follow me on Twitter. I am at Driftwood Gaming. And I have a website, driftwoodgaming.com. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.